So, a Nigerian woman faces seven years in prison for writing an online review about a tomato puree. This is crazy, Felix. I mean, some of these stories can only happen in Africa. I'm sorry. But hey. So, a Nigerian lady bought tomato puree, you know, in a can, took it home to cook some of the dishes, perhaps for her husband, because she's married, she's got four children, and uh, she didn't like it very much. So, she thought the puree was a little too sweet for her liking. So, she decided to share the information with some of her friends friends on Facebook. She just wanted some of her friends' opinion on the puree. She didn't say, hate the puree. She said, what do you think of this tomato puree? I feel like it's a little too sweet for my liking. How do you feel about it? So the owner of the company, of the puree company, uh, sent police to arrest her and throw her in jail. Crazy, isn't it? It can only happen in Africa, fellas. Only in Africa. So a Nigerian woman is facing seven years in prison for writing a dawning review about a tomato can puree after its maker accused her of damaging its business. Of damaging his business. So the owner says she's damaging my business. Choma Okoli, 39 years old businesswoman based in Lagos, the country's largest city, is being criminally charged and prosecuted and sued in a civil court after she made a negative comment about a product made by Nigerian food maker, Erisco food. Fellas, this is crazy. We eat Nutella and sometimes you need this Nutella is, is too sweet, right? Sometimes you're not very happy with the chocolate Oreo or anything. We make comments, right? We share on Facebook and stuff. I didn't know you could go to jail for that in Nigeria. Crazy, isn't it? She said the tomato was a little too sweet. I mean, let me remind you, fellas, Africans don't necessarily eat sweet, sweet, sweet. Most Africans eat savory, salty kind of food. So I can understand why she would think it's too sweet. So after posting this Facebook post, of a picture of a tomato can on her Facebook, people started commenting, reacting to the post, as you would normally see. Then all of a sudden, somebody comments saying, stop spoiling my brother's product. If you don't like it, use another one, then bring it to social media or call the customer service. Clearly, this is probably the owner's brother or cousins. You know, in Africa, people like to call each other brother, even if you're not brother at all. Oh, my brother, my brother. Some dude you know in the neighborhood, you start calling them brother. She responded saying, then help me advise your brother to stop killing people with his brother. Yesterday was my first time of using it and it's pure sugar. So that's what that's what happened. And shortly, the businesswoman was arrested. Yes, she was arrested. She said she was arrested by plain clothes police officer. So these police officers don't even wear police clothes. They just come walking like normal human beings and they take you. And this is insane, brothers. We hear all these stories. I mean, no shade, fellas, but we hear all these stories about Nigeria. Area. The businesswoman who is currently pregnant with a fourth child was arrested by plainclothes police officers from Nigerian National Police while she was in church. So she was in church. The police went looking for her in church in plain clothes, fellas. So where did they take this Choma Okoli lady, 39 years old, for saying your tomato paste or your tomato base is too sweet? She said she stood throughout the night. My legs were inside the water. Sometimes I squatted to reduce the pressure off my leg. I was thinking about my children. I was talking to myself. I would think I would pray and it was messed up, she added. So Okoli is being criminally charged with two other people. She may go to jail for seven years for making a comment about a product on Facebook. Fellas, I mean, again, we hear all these stories about Nigeria. I don't think it's nice at all to have a situation like that. I mean, we all buy product. We all buy tomato paste. We complain about sugar. We complain about candles. We complain about Nutella, chocolate. We complain about everything we hear. And I think part of a decent company is to actually absorb comments. We complain about Coca-Cola. They don't go and prosecute people, send them to jail. That's just some stuff from a shit old country. I'm sorry. This is Donald Trump. And I'm not saying this is limited to Nigeria because it's not. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you, you don't see stuff like this where plain clothes police people would come to a church and take somebody because they made a comment about a food product. Where do you see that in the world? That is insane. Now, this woman runs the risk of going seven years to prison. They've asked her to pay seven million naira, which corresponds to almost $4,000. So, Okoli was also charged by instigating Irisco Food Limited. The said information was false. How can you decide for me? It's my tongue. My tongue believe your food is too sweet. How can you say my information is false? You cannot quantify how my tongue feels just because you want to make a profit. Doesn't make sense. No, I mean, fellas, let's talk about this. You're selling a product. Shouldn't you be expecting some 
some feedback from the people. In fact, an intelligent dude will say, okay, so people think it's too sweet. Maybe let's create a version that's not as sweet as this one, if not completely eradicate this version, right? That's what the businessman thinks. You don't take people and shut them up and throw them to jail. So the next thing is if your product kills my child, I shouldn't open my mouth because you're going to call the police on me to come pick me up from the church in plain clothes and throw me to jail. What is this? Is this a jungle? Is this a country? So what did the company CEO say? The company CEO, whose name is Eric Omeyofa, said to broadcaster that he would rather die than allow somebody to tarnish the image of something he's worked for for 40 years. Okay, fellas. Coca-Cola has been around for hundreds of years, you know, and many other products, they still get complaints. I believe if you want to work properly in a capitalistic world and you want to be respected as a company, you should be able to have a department whose job is to just listen to what the people actually think. It's okay to have negative feedback. It's okay. It doesn't mean anything. It actually simply means that you're not perfect. You refusing criticism shows that you're not honest. You're not a nice person because we cannot review. Why can we not review your stuff? What's wrong? Who are you? God? You're not God. So people can say what they think. Why are you scared to lose clientele? You're scared to lose people. That If you are scared to lose people, that means 40 years you've spent, you didn't work appropriately. Because if your product is really good after 40 years of work, I don't think the opinion of one person is enough to destroy your product. And you shouldn't be losing sleep, sending police, clearly corrupt police. I have never seen you as a company send the police to go pick somebody up and throw them to jail without going through court. How, how is that even possible? I don't know what, what kind of situation you live in. Fellas, we need to tell you the truth with all the love possible. Nigerians are not lacked very much all across the world. If you don't know it, here you heard it, okay? In Dubai, they were kicking you out. They don't want Nigerians in Dubai. In Saudi Arabia, even the Nigerians who are Muslims are supposed to go there for religious purpose. In South Africa, they don't want Nigerians because they feel like Nigerians are conductors of obscure things, drugs, guns, prostitution, and stuff like that. Now, do all Nigerians do that? No, they don't. Not all Nigerians do that. Do some Nigerians do that? Yes, some Nigerians do that. Those ones are the ones that tarnish the reputation of everybody. Now, should it be left that way because not all Nigerians do drugs and stuff? Absolutely not. Those people should be punished because they've destroyed. I'm not even going to say they are destroying. They have destroyed the reputation of Nigerians in general. Nigerians have issues getting visas to the UK. Nigerians have difficulty getting visas to Canada. Nigerians at some point couldn't even get a visa to the United States of America with Trump. Why Nigerians? Okay, I know most Africans have issues, but Nigerians have tripled the issue. Even some African nations don't want Nigerians in the country. Ugandans don't want Nigerians. They, they're fighting. I mean, they're not happy because they feel like Nigerians come to Uganda. They marry human beings. They, they, they get involved with ladies and they get a passport and boom, they get a visa to go to wherever because they can't get a visa with the Nigerian passport. They'll go get a marry some lady from Uganda, lie to her, poor woman gives everything she has, contributes to everything. She probably fought with her parents and family because she brought a Nigerian to the family. Then at the end of the day, after seven years of struggle or three years, whatever, he gets a passport and then he leaves. You know, South Africans don't want Nigerians for many reasons. Then again, it's not all Nigerians that do that. Do they suffer the consequences of that? Somebody like this man, I mean, this is a very bad example. How do you take a woman that's pregnant and throw her in jail because she made a comment on social media? What's social media for? Why do you have a product? Keep your product home. Don't sell it if you don't want anybody to say anything about it because this is a reflection of what's happening in the country. And this is exactly what other people expect in their countries when they see Nigerian at the border. You see people complain, well, immigration is not nice. They're being ugly with me just because I'm Nigerian. It's maybe not your fault, brother. Sorry, you experienced that. But what's happening in Nigeria is being broadcast across the world. What some Nigerians are doing somewhere is being broadcast across the world. And it's very sad that good Nigerians like yourself who's watching this video have to suffer the consequences. We cannot allow these type of things as Africans in general to continue. We cannot. We have to treat each other like proper human beings and behave like human beings. Thank you very much, fellas. It's always a great pleasure. Again, not all Nigerians are bad. Okay, Nigeria is a massive country. There's too many people. Uh, yes, there's lots of people, spaces, and, and, and yeah. Some people have to suffer the consequences, unfortunately. But those who are identified, like somebody like this, just because he's got money and been in business for 40 years, does not give him the right to take the police in his pocket, to arrest somebody, w w police with w without uniform. It's just a bad signal. And do you complain when Donald Trump says you guys come from shit all country? How can you complain? This woman deserves an open apology and a payment for the 
negative things for the trauma she's endured for making a comment about a product. She deserves, if these people are serious, she deserves open apology from this company and open apology from this CEO and money, okay, for the time she spends in custody. Please.